All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to find a positive and a negative coterminal angle for each one of these angles. All right, take a look at this unit circle. Um, when we talk about angles, we are always measuring from the positive x-axis. And um, if we go counterclockwise, that's a positive rotation. And if we go um, clockwise, that's going to be a negative angle. And uh, so, of course, this is going this way, we have 90 degrees 180. Um, but we have negative 180 degrees. That means we're moving in this direction. And we are going, all right, so this would be negative 90 degrees, negative 180 degrees, like that. So the terminal side of our angle is going to be over here. So this is what negative 180 degrees looks like. Now, we need a positive and a negative coterminal angle. All right, so, so focusing on the terminal side, we need a positive angle that ends here and a negative angle that ends here, other than the one that we've already got. Um, so basically, if I want to get um, back to the same place, I'm either adding or subtracting multiples of 360 degrees. Because an additional 360 degrees would take me all the way back around and back to where I started from. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. To find a positive um, coterminal angle, I'm going to add 360 degrees. All right, you could probably do this one in your head, negative 180 plus 360 that's just going to be 180 degrees. Okay, does, does it make sense that this is a coterminal angle with this? Um, well, sure, because 180 degrees is right there. Um, that would be definitely coterminal. Okay, um, now if I want to get a negative coterminal angle, then I have to get, get even more negative. So I would, I would take a negative 180 and I would subtract 360 and that should do it so let's see negative 180 minus 360 that's negative 540 All right, so there's a positive and negative coterminal angle for number seven. All right, let's move on to number nine. All right, this time I'll do it without the picture. Um, if I add 360 degrees, that's going to get me to a positive coterminal. If I take negative 275 degrees and I subtract 360, that's going to give me a negative coterminal angle. Okay, so negative two seventy five plus three sixty, that's eighty five. So 85 degrees is a coterminal angle. All right, there's our positive. Now, how about negative 275 minus 360? Negative 311. All right, so if I take zero and do plus or minus 360. All right, of course, 0 plus 360 is just 360 degrees. 0 minus 360 is negative 360 degrees. Number 10, if I do plus 360 and minus 360, That's going to give me 515 degrees and negative 205 degrees.
All right, so pretty simple. That's all there is to it. I'll see you on the next video.